What's good, fam? Welcome back to the Russell Muscle YouTube channel. Hope everything good with y'all. Today we got another installation video. I got some reflective vinyl decals. It's gonna go on my fuel rail covers on the Hellcat. There's these things right here. You can call them energy covers, whatever you want to call them, but they're gonna match the supercharger. Then also, I'm gonna be paying my bro supercharger on the 2020 wide body. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, but they came from Reflective Concepts out of New York. Check them out. Official Mopar. It's going to knock this install up. This is everything that was in the box. They give you an extra Hemi decal and also an extra decal for them lines that go along the side of it. First thing you're going to do is wipe it down with grease and wax remover. With vinyl decals, you want the leather to stick to the clear film. So if you're peeling it off and you see it sticking to the white backing, just put some pressure on it and then try peeling it up again. Try to record and take it off. All right, this is what it should look like. Once you got that white backing off, and then you want to take your time and line it up with whatever you're putting it on. All right, now I got that one on there. What I'm gonna do is take my finger and just rub across it. Kind of hard just to make sure it stick. And then when I peel this film off, I'm gonna peel it at an angle. And you're gonna take your time with it, don't just snatch it off. Same thing, you peeling this clear film up and the letter start to come up, just push it back down, rub your finger back across it until you see that it's sticking. This part was a little tougher because you can't get your hand all the way back there to line it all the way up, but got it on the, with the stripes, I don't know if it matter, but they got the arrow pointing up this way, so this is the way we're gonna put it on. And also with these stripes, they don't have a clear film, so you're just gonna peel them off of the white backing. All right, what I did with these, I started down there, because the back of this real sticky, and I just worked my way down, and on both of them, as you can see, I ain't cut this one yet, but it's hanging over a little bit. So I got my knife, and I'm just cut around that shape, just to get that clean look like I did the top. Got this side done, got the flash on so y'all can see how it reflect off the light. Let's go on and knock the other side out. Got the driver side done. Like I said earlier, come with three extra pieces in case you mess up. And what I normally do is use an old blow dryer that I got from my wife and heat set it. But my daughter about to get out of school, so I'm gonna just dry the Hellcat to pick her up and let the heat from the engine do it. Show y'all what they both look like with the flash on. Sir, as y'all can see, supercharger still looking good. About to knock this one up. This is gonna be under plastic, but I'm taking it off just in case the overspray come under there. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna run the blue tape right where that line is going all the way across it. So where the top meet the bottom of the supercharger. All 
Uh, this drill bit I'm gonna use, T27. I taped that off because I didn't want to break that clip. I'm gonna take this off, which is the uh, air sensor. I'm gonna tape off the sensor just so no dust or nothing get on it. Then I'm gonna also tape off the hole going into the supercharger. Tape it off so nothing get on it. What you gonna do now? Take a plastic drop cloth, cover the whole car. Take your knife and just cut out the square around the supercharger, and then just tape it to the supercharger so only the top exposed. That's how it's gonna look once everything taped off and covered with the drop cloth. And I'm about to cut a hole going around the supercharger. All right, now I'm just about to spray it down with a primer. Ran out of gray primer, had to end up using the black. We're gonna let that dry, and we're gonna start painting. This is the clear coat you wanna use by Spray Max. 2K clear glamour. And this gloss, they got them uh, satin on uh, matte one also, but you want the glamour if you want the gloss. This little button come on the top of it. So you're gonna take it from the top, push it onto that little piece at the bottom. The easiest way, push it down to the ground so you feel the button loose. Like it's pushing in, that means that the hardener release. And so this uh, clear coat come with a hardener if I ain't mentioned it before, so. It's more durable than regular clear coats you would get from like AutoZone or Home Depot. All uh, right, so now the primer dry. We're gonna hit it with this red high temperature engine paint. We're gonna stay like eight to 10 inches back from it. Don't worry about curling everything in the first coat. Sweep across the top. All right, as y'all can see, it's pretty much covered. There's just two coats. So I'm about to knock the third coat out. Uh, when y'all spray this clear coat, you want to have a mask on, because it's real strong. I'll show y'all right quick. Look at all that. Okay. And so this hot light helped it dry, but what I'm about to do now is go on and start removing all the tape. I just took all the tape off and got the air filter back in there. I screw the screw back in. I'll show y'all what it's looking like. All right, fam, this is the finished product. That's it. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay locked in for the next one. Much love and God bless.